Who tick tock the days go by, Albina? Finally! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you, and we're matching. It's yeah. a different shade of pink, but it's a pink. <laughs> Absolutely, we are all about the pink, my girl. Yeah. Now, did you tie this yourself? Uh, yeah, I did it myself. <laughs> all by myself. All by myself. Oh, yeah. In any case, are you ready to do the interview with Albina? All right, you've had your first rehearsal and your second rehearsal. Yeah. How's it going? I'm very happy because I see the progress. And I'm happy because, you know, uh, while we were in rehearsing back home, I wasn't sure how it's going to look like on the screens. I was a bit worried because I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to really elevate the song. Because I, I think the song is really strong, but it needs to be, you know, uh, matched with the good staging and good yeah. camera angles and everything and the choreography. So we really worked, you know, hard to kind of improve that. And I'm so happy that, you know, we engaged Marvin and Dan for the staging because they are amazing they are very talented and they are great people which is very important in the work as well so yeah I'm very happy I think the second rehearsal went you know better because camera angles now are improved I'm feeling much comfortable we're still not uh, sure about the hair oh uh, yeah because um, I think it may be kind of um, uh, it covers a costume and I think maybe it will be better if we kind of concentrate that it's wider than longer if you understand right but we're not still yeah sure about that but what's most important is that i really i was feeling amazing up there and i was really relaxed and i hit all the notes and that's important <laughs> You did hit all the notes, and I like your point about the hair, because we want to see all of that look. It's so fabulous. Yeah, we, we're really realistic, you know, we are up to making changes. I think that's important, because the whole team is, you know, working on their part of the, mm. of the project. So, yeah, we're really, um, you know, uh, friendly about that, and we don't have a problem to say something. You know, we saw the pictures and, okay, this hair maybe won't go with the whole thing so we're thinking about you know changing it we're not sure how it's gonna look like at the end but there will be a new surprise for you <laughs> and at the beginning you go like this and like lights shoot out yeah I feel like a Wonder Woman I have to say mm. I think it's great because it really fits the lyrics of the song as I told you while we were talking before yeah it's really about you know making a statement and just you know uh, putting aside all the bad comments, bad uh, influences and everything. So I think that effect of me being a superwoman yeah. is really matching the lyrics of the song. Definitely. We would love to see you wear that outfit on the street in real life. Yeah. How would people react? Oh, uh, well, actually, uh, I have to be honest, I have kind of a two sides of me and I wouldn't probably I wouldn't wear that on the street but I would definitely wear this this is very stylish and I think um, uh, you know I'm so happy because your vision is giving me opportunity to dress up because I have nowhere to go <laughs> this is you know this is a party for me so yeah we're using every piece of it and every moment to kind of shine yeah. and I'm feeling very confident and powerful mm. and that's maybe a a significant change from Dora because back um, two or three months ago I was you know very under pressure there and this is a whole different experience for me I expected this to be you know a great pressure and everything but actually I'm fe feeling more comfortable here than back at home oh wow yeah I will feel the love babe yeah I just if you wear this out I worry your lunch will end up inside of it yeah. <laughs> if you're eating like, oh, well myself. I don't know I can try that <laughs> we'll see now, the choreography is intense. You're moving your whole body. Yeah. Do you and your dancers ever have collisions? Has it been hard to master? Actually, Luciano, Sinan, you hear this? He broke my nail. Yeah. He's, he's really hyped and everything. <laughs> yeah, he's really intense in private life as well. But he's a sweetheart. And I didn't, you know, take that as a, <laughs> you know, it was fine. I was fine with it. And my nail is back here. <laughs> I have all the nails. Uh, but yeah, we had some, you know, troubles, but it was nothing, you know, big. It mm. didn't distract us, and that's important. And of course, it, it is hard. I mean, um, all the girls uh, who are performing up 
up there will confirm that. It's really hard to perform, you know, to dance, to watch all the details, watch camera angles, yeah. especially when you have two kilos of hair. Two kilos? Yeah, and when I did that hair flip, I was afraid if I'm gonna just, you know, stuck here. Yeah. No, yeah, it went great, so yeah, thank God. <laughs> Does it feel heavy? Like, is your neck very strong? Right now, it doesn't, but when I, when I take them off, I probably will be like, oh my god, what a relief. Wait a minute. Oh, it's not your hair. No, these are extensions. Ah, okay. Yeah. See, I, I, it looks so natural. Yeah, it does. That's thanks to my hairstylist. He's the best. <laughs> voila hairstylist. Yeah, voila, voila. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Albina, you are such a light, so positive. Where does that light come from? Well, I I think I'm like that since I was a little little girl because, you know, my parents always, they were always like, oh my God, you're always in your own world. You are so unrealistic. Come on down to earth. I mean, not in a negative way, but they were just preparing me for life, you know? Right. And I was always like, you know, dreaming big and everything. And actually, that's the thing that kind of brought me here. So I don't regret that. And I would recommend that to anyone who's watching us and who is maybe feeling insecure about pursuing their dreams. I think that's very important. I mean, from time to time, there, there's always someone who is going to kind of put you down to earth. Yeah. But you have to elevate yourself. That's yes. very important. And are there any artists here who you've met who elevate you? Manisha! Oh. I am a huge fan of Manisha. I think she's... I like uh, the way that she's, you know, humble in person and then powerful on the stage. Yeah. You know, that uh, ability to, to transform, it's very impressive. And she's so authentic. She's my neighbor. We were actually stuck together in elevator <laughs> because both of us, we forgot our cards and without a card, you can't go up and down. So her sister, she saved us. Yeah. It's a nice story. <laughs> you know, it's funny, that applies to you as well, because on stage you are this icon, this Wonder Woman, bam. But then in real life, you're like Croatia's sweetheart. Yeah. Pure bubblegum, I love you. It's, it's, you're so just a joy. Thank you very much. Um, it really means to me that people are, you know, uh, feeling my um, energy. Mm. You know, that, that they're feeling my positivity, because that means that, you know, I'm just being really natural, yeah. to be honest. And if you're noticing that, then it's a win-win situation. <laughs> oh, from split to the world, she is Albina going tick-tock to the final. Y'all better vote. Y'all need to yeah, vote for yeah, Croatia. Vote, vote, vote. <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for, you know, having me and for finding time to kind of support all of us because that's very important. And congratulate on 100. Yay! 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 Thank you so much. Thank You're you. amazing. Oh, thank you. oh my God.